Chapter 53, The Migration. It was the night before the migration, and Bright Bill was sleeping fitfully. Roz watched him toss and turn until he finally crawled up into her arms, and she rocked him to sleep, just like in the old days. Early the next morning, Bright Bill waddled outside and looked at the pond. The water was perfectly still. A few lazy clouds drifted above. Geese were already gathering by the beach. And then Tiny Claw scampered down from the treetops. So today's the day, huh? 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 Said Chit Chat, perched on a branch. You're going to see so many new things and meet so many new animals. And if there are any squirrels in the winter grounds, please tell them Chit Chat said hello. Today's the day said Bright Bill. The flock will be leaving soon. Are you excited or nervous or scared? I'm all of those things. The squirrel whispered, Well, don't worry about your mother. I'll look after her so she'll be perfectly fine. Bright Bill smiled. I am afraid it is time to go, said Roz as she stepped out of the nest. Okay, Mama, said the goosling. See you in the spring, Chit Chat. Have a nice migration, Bright Bill. The squirrel scampered back into the treetops. Come home with lots of exciting stories, but not too excited because I don't want anything scary to happen to you. Okay, bye. The geese were honking with excitement. Honk, honk, honk. And hustling around as they made their final preparations. Several of the fathers huddled together, discussing their flight plans while the mothers took a head count. Oh, there you are, Bright Bill, Loudwing honked from the middle of the crowd. We're just about to begin. May I have your attention, please? Said the biggest goose. As most of you know, my name is Longneck. I'll be leading this year's migration. I'm asking everyone to please join your families for takeoff. Once we're all airborne, each family will take its possession in our V formation. And we'll start the first leg of our journey. Are there any questions? I have a question, came a booming voice. My son will not have any family with him. Where does he fit into the formation? Everyone turned to Longneck. He can fly with me, said the big goose. I hear Brightbill is a very clever flyer. I could use his help at the point. A moment later, the geese began flapping and honking and making their way into the air. A cloud of feathers floated down around the robot and her son. You are not a goosling anymore, said Roz. I am proud of the fine young goose you have become. Bright Bill fluttered up to his mother's shoulder. Thanks, Mama. The young goose wiped his tears. Is this where we say goodbye? This is where we say goodbye for now. Spring will soon be here, and we will be together again. I'm going to miss you, said Bright Bill as he nuzzled his mother. I am going to miss you, too, said Roz as she nuzzled her son. The goose took a deep breath, then he shook his tail feathers, flapped his wings, and joined the flock. At first the geese flew in a disorganized jumble, but each goose slowly drifted into position until the flock formed a wobbly V. At the lead was Longneck, and behind his left wing was Brightbill. They circled in the sky until the V pointed south, and then the geese began their long migration. Roz climbed to the top of a tree 
and watched as the flock slowly faded into the horizon.